Well, hey y'all, it's Debbie, your girl with pearls. And today what I'm going to do is make a delicious butternut squash with thyme topped with goat cheese, dry cranberries, and chopped candy pecans. Y'all, I had a friend over for dinner, my closest girlfriend, golly, back maybe three weeks ago now. And um, she and I just love vegetables. We love fall vegetables. We love goat cheese. We love all the things that I just mentioned. And I just had this stuff in the house and I just whipped it up. I made it up as I went and I'll tell you what, it was delicious. I never thought the husbands would eat it, but they loved it. So um, it is going to be on my Thanksgiving table and I'm going to share the recipe with you. And um, you know, I'm making this in the middle of the week because it's just so delicious. But um, I hope that you enjoy it. If you like the things that I mentioned, especially the goat cheese and the pecans and the dry cranberries, I mean, golly, this is just yum, yum. So I'm going to use this chopped up butternut squash from Trader Joe's, some fresh thyme, some goat cheese, some butter, dried cranberries, some pecans, and my husband requested I put a little bit of bacon in it. So I bought the fully cooked bacon, and you know what? I've not made it like this, but I'm gonna give it a whirl, and I'll let you know what I think. So alrighty, I'm gonna get into it, and I'm gonna start by uh, making some brown butter. And after I finish the brown butter, I'm gonna add three sprigs of fresh thyme. And then I'm gonna let that marry for, you know, maybe a few minutes, five minutes. And then I'll throw in the butternut squash and saute it until it's tender. Take it out and I'm gonna to top it with those things that I just mentioned. Now, my husband threw me a twist. He said, hmm, what if we tried chopped bacon on it? So before Thanksgiving, I wanted to try it and make sure it's a win and not a fail because I don't wanna be failing on Thanksgiving. Um, so I am going to be trying it tonight. That's why I'm doing this in the middle of the week, couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, just to give it a whirl and see what it's like. So I'll let you know if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down by adding the bacon. And I'm only gonna put the bacon in just a small part of it to make sure first that we like it um, before I put it through the whole thing. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to use a half of stick of butter and melt it and then leave it on low until it starts to brown. So here I'm adding my three sprigs of thyme. And as I said, I'm gonna let that marry for about a good five minutes. And you can see it's starting to brown nicely and I'm going to add in my butternut squash. And I'm going to saute that until it gets tender. Make sure you stir it well and coat all of the butternut squash with that brown butter and thyme. And I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm gonna cover it because I want it to steam the flavors all through it until it's tender. Okay, it's ready. I am going to now remove the thyme leaves. There you go. Now I'm going to put it into my serving casserole. Now this was a 16 ounce package of butternut squash 
and it made probably three servings. And I'm going to add my dried cranberries. And you know, this is where you can wing it, your preference. If you like a lot of them, put them in. If you just like, I'm just putting a medium amount in. I love them more than my husband, so I don't want to overdo it. But to me, dried cranberries say Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to add some of the goat cheese. Now, crumbled goat cheese would have made this a whole lot easier, but I couldn't find any gr crumbled. So I'm just going to have to, it's creamy, so I'm going to have to fork a little bit on here and there. The last time I made it when my girlfriend came over, I used the crumbled, and it worked much better. So if you can find that in your grocery store, um, I think you'll prefer that as well. And now I'm just going to add some of the chopped candy pecans. It's just so delicious when you bite into it and you get that candy pecan with the goat cheese, with the dried cranberries, and the flavors are just fabulous. Okay, now I told you I did not use bacon the first time I made this when I had my girlfriend here. Um, and I loved the flavors, so I don't know what this bacon's going to taste like. I'm cutting up a bit of it. I'm only going to put a little bit on it. I'll save a little pile. If he likes it, I'll add more to his. I'm not sure that I'm going to like it, but we'll see. So I'm only going to put it on one end of the casserole. And I'm plating mine up without the bacon, just in case I don't like it. I'm giving him the bacon. <laughs> I might try a bite of it and see what I think. And I could be pleasantly surprised. I know it doesn't maybe look as good as it tastes, but it tastes amazing. Well, y'all, I'm telling you, this is a hit again. And adding the bacon changed the flavor a bit because the bacon I bought has got a smoky taste to it, like a hickory smoke, but it's delicious. So it's all up to you. If you're vegetarian, you know, you can go without the bacon. You can opt out of that. But if you love bacon, like my husband, this is really, really delicious. Give it a try. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.